One of the most common questions I get asked is whether or not someone should be running standard shopping or a performance max campaign for their e-commerce brand. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the positives and negatives of each type of campaign. And I'm also going to show you what types of campaigns I'm currently using with my businesses and as well past experiences I've had with the goal to give you guys a bit more information and help you guys make a decision on what types of campaigns you might need to run for your businesses. Now, if you are struggling with Google Ads and require extra help or you want to scale further please do go ahead and check out my Google Ads agency link top of the description there is a form on the home page if you want to work with us please do fill out that form like I previously said we have expanded recently so we are taking on some new clients okay let's first talk about standard shopping something that has been around for much longer obviously than performance max campaigns which became compulsory over smart shopping around summertime in 2022 last year now I started both of my businesses way before performance max was even a thing so i'm basically just going to jump into my uk business google ad account right now and show you some historical data from standard shopping campaigns obviously if i did exactly the same type of campaign now it wouldn't do as well but yeah anyway just just for a bit of context essentially this campaign here i'm going to highlight you can see we spent just under fifty thousand pounds on this campaign and this was at a 4.44 roas very profitable this was standard shopping simply with a manual cp see as the bid strategy another one here is another standard shopping campaign lifetime spent of fifteen thousand pounds with a 5.4 roas again you can see that's very profitable i mean you can pause this screen if you want essentially any campaign type where it just says shopping is standard shopping you know you can see some historical roas 4.78 on this one um, and again 3.3 on this one so basically it has done very well for me in the past now i don't tend to use it as much but in the last two months i would say i'm definitely starting to use standard Standard shopping more I'll tell you why I'm doing it and the strategy that I'm currently using as well so that is something to bear in mind okay in terms of strategy for standard shopping that I'm currently using I have found over the last couple of months what is working well for me is a target rise bid strategy rather than manual CPC my thought process behind this is that using a target rise bid strategy you're telling Google you're after conversions and you're optimizing for those conversions and conversion value whereas with manual CPC you are optimizing for the click rather than the conversion because you're bidding for the click. Technically, that's not necessarily correct, but that is purely the outcome of me testing manual versus target ROAS. Now, I'm not going to say in this video you have to use target ROAS. Some client accounts we manage at my agency, manual CPC is working great. For this video, I'm just showing you my own businesses and essentially, you should be testing yourself different strategies. For example, PMAX might work really well for one business, but really bad for another. Same with bid strategies on standard shopping. You know, for me, target rise is working really well but for someone else manual cpc might work really well and this particular ad group here on my usa business we had an absolutely ridiculous conversion the other day you can see it spent 26 pounds on this day on wednesday it had two conversions with a conversion value of four thousand seven hundred dollars giving me a 180 ROAS on that day is the biggest order i've had on any of my businesses ever it was for 50 items and just ridiculous but anyway essentially the products i've decided to put into standard Standard shopping are products that were either not getting traffic in Performance Max, did poorly overall in Performance Max, perhaps they had a really low ROAS. I've taken them out of Pmax, put them in Standard Shopping, set a target ROAS of about 100% above my break even. So let's say a product has a 1.6 break even point. I would set that target ROAS at 2.6, so 260%. I could reduce that and get more traffic, but I'm kind of working to find the sweet spot at the moment. But for me, that is the strategy I'm using. And if we just go over to the last 30 days for this particular standard shopping campaign you can see it's fairly new literally you know 19 days old at the time of recording this video it is at a 5.28 ROAS which is much better than a Pmax campaign however it's not running at the scale you can see it's only sort of really spending a hundred dollars a day so that is what is working on standard for me at the moment let me know down below what's working for you just to run through a few positives and negatives for standard shopping positives you've got keyword management you can't really see other than the insights tab on Pmax, you can't see what terms your products are appearing for and you certainly can't exclude negative keywords in Pmax. So having control over those search terms, especially if you're on the lower budget, can be very helpful and just will allow you to optimize and steer Google in the right direction yourself. There's more bid strategies to play around with with standard shopping. You've got manual CPC, maximize conversions, maximize
maximized clicks, you know, target ROAS. There's about three or four extra options with standard, whereas in Pmax, you literally have maximized conversions or maximized conversion value. And then obviously you can use a target CPA or target ROAS. So overall positives with this, you do have more control. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. Having less control with Pmax sort of means you just allow Google to do its thing and that works better at scale. But if you've got a lower budget, I certainly recommend testing with standard shopping because as I've said before, Pmax will just absolutely obliterate your budget. Now, a couple of negatives in comparison to Pmax, obviously standard shopping, it's in the name. You can only run on the shopping network, whereas Pmax covers shopping, search, YouTube display, Gmail, all those different areas. Another negative, you can't use bid strategies like target rise until you've had enough conversions in your campaign or your account, which can be frustrating. So if you're watching this and you've got a brand new Google ad account, you'll probably notice it won't allow you to run target ROAS. And another one, like I've said earlier, I can't seem to scale as high with standard shopping, whereas with Pmax, it allows me to scale much higher. But even on the lowest spend, I am getting a higher ROAS on standard. Now we're gonna use this Pmax campaign here as the example for this video, mainly because it is my highest spending campaign. Um, if we just change the conversion value to cost, we've changed uh, the date to last 30 days. 3.3 ROAS last 30 days. Obviously nice and profitable when my break-even ROAS is around a 1.65. Obviously it is spending a lot more than standard. You can see it is sort of spending 200 to 250 dollars a day. It spent a lot back here because I briefly turned off my target rise bid strategy and it didn't really work unfortunately. Now I do have videos on my channel with a more detailed look at my performance max strategies just to give you a run through with how I structure them. I like to group products into their own collection groups for example. I always use this as an example. If you're running a gym brand you'll make asset groups for leggings, you'll make separate asset groups for tops, you know socks, shoes, whatever. So I like to segment my products based on category. If certain products have a drastically different price point, like this campaign here is a high ticket Pmax. So there's about four products in this campaign which sell for a significantly higher price than the rest of my store. And the reason I've separated them because I want to set a higher target rise for these products. Whereas merging them all into one campaign just doesn't make sense because I have different goals for these types of products. So that's another thing you can test and bear in mind. And like I said at the start, guys, you need to test so many different things to find what works for your business. You know, there's no concrete secret formula that's just going to produce you results. You need patience, you need time, you need budget, and most of all, you need experience with the different types of campaigns so you know what works and what doesn't work for your business. Now, just to run through a few positives with Performance Max, it covers all of Google's products. Like I said earlier, you've got shopping, search, display, you know, Gmail. It will certainly spend more and scale further than standard shopping. That's for me anyway, and that's based over the last year or so I've been using Pmax campaigns. And once you do start to find consistency with Pmax, it definitely maintains at that consistency very well. As long as you're not completely making stupid changes every day. You know, if you're changing your target ROAS every single day, you're never gonna find success with it. So you need patience, but once you get there, it is very good. Another positive, you can guide it to only show on the shopping network. If you're finding you're getting irrelevant clicks from display and things like that, you can simply run feed only asset groups and that will pretty much mean you're only gonna show ads on the shopping network. Now, I've had cases over the last couple of weeks and I'll try and find it here. So just looking at this campaign here, I've had an instance on this USA business and on my UK. So last 30 days on this campaign here, if we just get rid of these columns, let's just get rid of those on the graph here. But you can see I had a random day where I had, how much is that, 2000, about 2000 click, yeah, 2200 clicks in a single day. And then it just plateaued back to normal. You know, it started to go up here, 750, and then over 2000 clicks in a day. The spend obviously increased a lot, you know, by about two or three X, but there was no explanation for this. If you, if you then go to check the product that got the clicks, it wouldn't say it's had clicks, which basically means it's, these are clicks not from shopping. They're most likely from display because it's cheap traffic. You know, I can't do anything about that because I have no control over it. And this does seem to be happening more and more. I've seen it on a couple client accounts as well. And it's just very frustrating because it's driving, you know, 2000 clicks to my store, not a single one of these clicks converted. There's no real explanation for it. So it's really frustrating. And after this, I actually took that product out and put it into standard shopping basically to avoid that happening again. So that is something that you may experience with Performance Max. It's certainly something I've experienced over the last couple of weeks with both my businesses. Now, a couple of negatives, there's a lot less control with Pmax. You know, like I said, with standard, you can manage negative keywords, individual bids, device management, device bidding. You know, you might want to bid more for desktop clicks on standard, but you can't do that with Pmax. But obviously Pmax is much more geared towards Google's automated learning process. And like I said earlier, once it does find consistency, it really is 
is just incredible. You know, if we go back here to another single product PMAX campaign I'm currently running, you can just sort of see 2.9 ROAS over the last 30 days and it's just consistent. It's nice and consistent. This is a product I've ran for two or three years now and with standard shopping, it may only have spent about 2K a month, but with PMAX, we're up to 5,000 pound a month in ad spend and still maintaining a really good ROAS. So to put it bluntly, to basically summarize, if you've got a low budget, standard shopping is probably your best bet to try first, mainly because of the control Control you can have over your campaign whereas if you've got a low budget and you're running pmax you'll probably find it will eat your budget and then you'll be back to square one and have no advertising budget left so if you're scaling try pmax for me i've never really found success with pmax without a target roas on my own businesses some clients work really well again with pmax no target roas but the gist of this video is there's no secret formula you need to test everything for your own business because different things will work for different types of businesses i feel like i've rambled on are long enough for this video if you've got any questions drop them down below let me know as well how you're getting on and what campaign types are working for you i'll also leave a link to my discord channel down below and like i said at the start if you want to work with my google ads agency check out the top link in the description other than that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video